beautiful people nice to be here again with you guys showing you all the things i love doing the most pattern making and sewing <laughs> however in this class we will not be learning how to create patterns but i'll be showing you how to draft the basic skirt block using your own measurements but before we start kindly click on the subscribe button now so that you always get notified when I post new videos and if you enjoy this class like this uh, video and then drop a comment for me below thank you so let me quickly show you how the basic skirt block looks like now this is how the basic skirt block looks like we have the front part and then we have the back part now this thing here it's um, a template or the foundation for creating different styles of skirts. In fact, you can actually combine it with the bodies to make dresses as well. This class is great for beginners. It's really beginners friendly. For those who are learning to create patterns or for those who are also just learning to start to sew. Or for those who already know how to sew but has been using the freehand method wants to learn pattern making this class is great for you and if you want to learn pattern making and sewing step by step i'll advise that you join my online pattern making school because we have very simple to understand videos that will help you grow from being a beginner all the way to an advanced learner i'm going to drop the link in the description box below so you click it sign up and then join our classes it's all fun and very simple now to start drafting this skirt block you're going to need just four measurements now let me show you the four measurements that you will take for yourself or for the person you intend to make for let me show you the measurements so here are the measurements you will need to create your skirt block you will need your waist circumference so you're going to place your um, tape measure around the part where your skirt sits on so you take the waist circumference the next thing is you're going to take your hip circumference the fullest part of your hip and then you're going to take the full length of your skirt so from your waistline all the way down to where you want your skirt length to stop I usually stop my on the knee on my knee just here from my waist to the knee you can always lengthen or shorten it later and then the last measurement is going to be from your waistline to your hip line from waist to hip line now sometimes these measurements can be difficult to take on your own you can use the standard measurement which is about 22 cm so that's those are the measurements you will need for this skirt um, block so once you've done your measurements you're going to record them write them down before we start working or before we start drafting the skirt block now here's how i recorded mine you see this is my waist circumference and then once you take your waist circumference you're going to divide it by four because we're going to be working by, by with we're going to be drafting one half of our body so you're going to divide it by four so waist circumference divide by four this is mine and this is what i got 25 then i added 0 0.5 cm for ease so this is what i'm going to be working with 25.5 cm and then for my hip circumference that is it divide it by four and then i have 32 cm now i added one cm for my ease so i'm going to be working with 33 cm for my hip circumference and now this is my full length i'm using 60 cm and this is my waist to hip this is 22 cm which is the standard i'm going to use so now get all your pattern um making tools and then your pattern paper so that we can start drafting this block once you've recorded all your measurements so the first thing we're going to do is to draw a horizontal line. So that's going to be our hem line. The next thing is to draw a vertical line. Now for this vertical line, you are going to use your, your full length of skirt. 
my full length is 60 cm so I'm just going to mark from here all the way down to this part 60 cm so whatever your length is you're going to impute that and then I'm just going to close off this place So this line here is going to be our waist line. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to measure, impute your measurement from your waist to your hip line. Remember I'm using the standard measurement which is 22 cm. So whatever your measurement is, you just impute it. So that's 22 cm and then you draw a straight line or a horizontal line across it. So this part is our hip line, but this part is going to be the back side and this part is going to be the front part. And then this part is going to be the side seam. So just label it like that so that you don't get confused. And this part is our hem line. Now on the back side, this is our hip line. On the back side of your hip line, you are going to measure you're going to impute your hip measurement. Mine is 33 cm. Now, the 33 cm, remember, after dividing it, I have 33 cm, and this is what I'm going to be working with. So whatever yours is, you work with that. So for the back side, I'm going to take off one cm for from this hip circumference. So 33 minus one, I'm going to have 32 cm. So I'm going to measure from here now. 32 cm okay and then you're going to do exactly the same thing for this side too you're going to measure whatever your hip circumference is you are just going to impute it here and on the waistline as well whatever your hip circumference is at the back side you are going to impute it here and then you're going to join all the three points together to have a straight line okay so this part now is going to be our center back line and now we're going to go towards the front part now our hip circumference the one we're working with here is 33 cm so for the front side i'm going to add one cm remember for the back side i took off one cm now for the front side i'm going to add one cm so 33 plus one i'm going to have 34 cm so I'm going to mark 34 cm here from this line here 34 cm. I'm going to do exactly the same thing here as well. So we can have a straight line. So this part is going to be my center front line. So once you've done that, the next thing we're going to do is for us to impute our waist measurement. Remember, this is going to be the waistline. So we start with the back side first. Now for my back side, my waist circumference, the one I'm using, is 25.5 cm. This one. So I'm going to measure from here now, 25.5 cm. But... On this our waistline we're going to have that so we are going to add our that value to our waist circumference so the that value for the back side is 4 cm so if you add 4 cm to your waist circumference you are going to mark what that value is so if I add 4 cm to 25.5 I am going to have 29.5 so I'm just going to mark it here 29.5 now I'm going to go to the front part as well. Now the dart value for the front part is 3 cm. So if I add 3 cm to my waist circumference, I'm going to have 3 plus 25.5. I'm going to have 28.5 cm. So I'm just going to mark that value here, just like that. So now I'm going to take this part up 1 cm. 
just take it up one cm because so that you have a nice um, curve at the back and then here you're also going to take it up one cm so once you've done that now we are going to impute our dart now let's work with the back side first now for the back side first of all you're going to take off one cm from your center back line so that will give the back a very nice shape because our back is not entirely flat so we're going to take off one cm here and then you're just going to roll it all the way down to your hip line just like this so this is the line we are now working with so the next thing now is for us to impute our remaining dart value now we've already taken off one cm here so that means we have three cm left so you're going to measure from here now 12 cm where you're going to place your dart so i'm placing my dart here from here to here is 12 cm so the length of my dart or the length of the back dart is between 13 to 15 cm so you can use 13 cm you can use 15 cm 14 cm it really doesn't matter so and our dart value is remaining 3 cm so on this side you're going to place 1.5 cm on the other side you're going to place 1.5 cm to make up the 3 cm of our dart value so you just mark it just like that and then you create your darts nicely now these darts are here because the dart helps to give nice shape to our garment so that is why we are creating that so this is what we have now so now we're going to draw our waist line you're going to connect these points now in a slight curve to our waistline so it's going to be something like this. So you connect it nicely and then you're going to connect this point all the way down to the hip line to create a nice curve. Okay, good. So that means that we don't need this part anymore. So when we are tracing our skirt, we are going to trace it all the way down to this part. Now we are going to, let me write hip line so that we don't forget. So now we are going to do, we are going to also impute our dart value for the front part. So from here, from your center front line, you are going to measure 12 cm. So you mark. Now the length of our dart here is about 10 to 12 cm. So I'm going to use 10 cm. Here you can make yours longer. It really depends on you. Now remember the, the value of our dart is 3 cm. So again we're going to place 1.5 cm on this side and then 1.5 cm on the other side. And then we connect it in a slant like this to create our dart. And then, because the front part is not entirely straight, we are going to drop our front part by about 1 cm. It could be 1 cm, it could be 1.5 cm. It really depends on you. So just make it straight like this here. And then you're going to connect this point here all the way down to this point in a slight curve. Okay. And then again, you're going to connect this point to your hip line in a slight curve. Okay. So that means that we don't need this part anymore. Now once you're done with this, the only thing we need to do now is we're going to fold our dart so that we'll create a nice shape here. So you take one leg of your dart, you fold it nicely against the other leg of your dart. Nicely like that and then you're going to use your, your tracing wheel 
to trace it out just place on it like this nicely and then you are going to see the little holes here so you're just going to connect it nicely so this is how we create our nice dots okay so once you're tracing out your block you would not need to trace out this part at all so you're just going to trace from here like that like that all the way down and then you're going to do the same thing for the back side as well take one of your dart leg place it on the other one nicely and then use your serrated tracing wheel to draw it nicely now this one didn't change much it's just small but it's still something okay so really that is it for our skirt block really very easy the only last thing we need to do is we are going to place our straight grain so the straight grain usually is parallel to our center front line so make make sure your line is straight parallel just a random parallel line like this so this is going to be our straight grain and then for the back as well you're going to do the same thing you're going to draw your straight green okay and voila you are really done with your skate block you see i told you this class is really gonna be very simple easy peasy now the only thing you need to do now is you're going to transfer this into a hard cardboard now let me show you how to transfer it so once you get your hard cardboard sheet you're going to place your pattern paper on it just like this and then you place a weight on it and then you're going to use your serrated tracing wheel and then you trace out all the markings just like this so you're going to trace it out all the way down to this end impute all the details when you do that you are going to have little holes on your cardboard so you're going to follow those holes and then trace out your blocks you're going to do exactly the same thing for the front part as well just like this remember you're not tracing out this part you don't need this part so just like this including your dart and your hip line so otherwise if you're very confident that you're not going to make mistakes you can as well just draft your um skirt block directly on your hard cardboard so it's really up to you now when you finish you are going to have something like this so for this one you're going to keep it so that when we start making skirt you don't have to go through that process again you just bring out your skirt block and then i'm going to show you how to modify your skirt block manipulate it to create different styles of skirts so i hope you did enjoy this class if you do please don't forget to like and drop a comment for me and please click on the notification bell to subscribe to my channel so i'll see you again in my next class where i'll be showing you how to uh, use the skirt block to create style or create patterns for a skirt looking forward to seeing you until then bye bye